Do you remember those days, those heavy phones, those huge antennas? But now with the phones we use every day, we all forgot about antennas, but they are still there. So what happens if something goes wrong with your antenna? You're disconnected. It's not the end of the world, but you have to wait until you get it fixed to reconnect. Don't worry, it rarely happens, because the antenna on your device is tested and verified at the manufacturer. Simple, but it's going to be problematic with the advent of 5G. We will all soon be immersed in 5G, and we should expect seeing everything connected wirelessly through 5G. Interesting, but why is testing 5G antennas challenging and problematic? 5G antennas work at higher frequencies, at least 10 times higher than 4G. Antennas are very small and highly integrated into circuits, meaning that there is no direct access to them for testing. As a result, conventional testing methods are ineffective. On the other hand, a huge number of 5G devices could make a big trouble testing and verification of those integrated little antennas. Who is going to test those antennas and how? Tests should be done quickly with no contact. Here is where my research steps in to help. My name is Mohammad Reza. My research is to design a camera, not the one that captures light, but the one that captures radiation from an antenna. By converting the image to meaningful data, I can evaluate the health of your antenna. My camera consists of multiple probes, which are simple in design, but make the testing procedure quick and low cost. So it's just as quick as taking an image. At the manufacturing line, when the communication devices are assembled, by simply capturing an image of each unit, you will know if the antenna on the device, the one you don't see or you don't even want to see, is doing well or one day will disconnect you from the world. Thank you.